Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the basic steps in woodworking. And by following those steps, we're going to build this handy steps tool. Let's get started. When you think about furniture like tables and chairs, you'll notice something. Many of them have what we call an apron joined to a leg. And you can infer that those parts must be connected in a way that makes them very strong. But there's a problem, because while gluing wood together edge to edge produces an incredibly strong joint, gluing end grain to edge grain produces a very weak joint. It's easily broken and just won't work for a table or chair. So what's the solution? The answer is a woodworking joint called mortise and tenon. It's one of the three basic woodworking joints you'll find in solid wood woodworking. And here's a simple example. This woodworking joint is made up of two components, a mortise, which is a hole specifically formed to accept the tenon, of which there are many types. Here we have a beadlock mortise and tenon, also known as a type of loose tenon joinery. In this case, this is the tenon. Let's use this simple step stool as a way to demonstrate mortise and tenon joinery in a simple but practical project. To get started, we'll need to cut aprons and legs from this pre-dimension lumber from Rockler. I'm going to cut four legs from this 2x2 two two cherry lumber. When making any woodworking project, it's very important that all the joints be cut square at 90 degrees. I'll achieve this by using a speed square to mark lines around three faces of the leg stock. Then I will carefully cut on those lines with my saw. Note how I start at an angle, then rock the cut back onto the top line followed by angling onto the back line. Then I follow the front and back lines. Of course, you could make these parts with a chop saw or a table saw, but you just don't need them. A hand saw will work fine. Now, the stock is cut square here, and I'm gonna cut four legs using the exact same technique. I'm going to now cut four apron pieces. How am I going to do that? You guessed it. With the legs and aprons cut to length, now it's time to start forming mortises with this beadlock jig. It'll guide a drill bit to make this specially shaped mortise. I'll walk you through the process. It's really easy. I want the mortises to be formed closer to the center of the two inch thick stock, so I add two spacers to the jig. Then I set the stop collar on the drill bit. Next I mark the legs so that I can locate the mortise where I want it. The aprons are three inches wide, so I'll center the mortises at one and a half inches down from the top. With that done, I clamp the jig in place firmly, using the window to align it to my marks. I put another leg piece at the end to keep the jig from tilting. With that done, I put the jig spacer to its A setting and drill three holes. Go slowly and lift the bit to get rid of the wood dust. Change the guide to the B setting and drill the remaining two holes and remove the jig. Looks like I drilled this mortise here very accurately. But what if the jig had moved? I always like to test each mortise as I make them. This fits well. And speaking of these special tenons, let's take a look at them. They come in differing thicknesses, but all have the same idea of being shaped to match the mortise made with the jig. We used 3 8 inch thick tenons for this project. I bored all of the holes to make the mortises on the legs, and now I need to make the matching mortises on the aprons. The technique is the same, but I removed the extra spacers as the aprons are only 3 quarters of an inch thick. Mark the center of the apron and clamp the jig in place. Two clamps on the jig is better than one to keep it in place. Drill the holes as you did with the legs. And just like that, you've prepared all of the aprons and legs and you're ready for assembly. Now comes an essential step in any woodworking project, test fitting the pieces together without glue to be sure that all the parts fit as they should. In this case, all is well. However, taking apart this subassembly may be a bit difficult because the beadlock tenons fit so tightly. Okay, it's showtime, final assembly. Start by applying a small amount of glue onto the two mortises of two legs, and then a bit more glue on the two tenons. 
Use a small stick or a glue brush for this task. Tap them in place. Now grab an apron and apply glue to the ends and in their mortises. Push one end of the apron onto one leg, the other leg onto the other end of the apron. Clamp them together. So these three pieces glued together like this is what we call a sub-assembly. I'm gonna set this aside now, leaving it in the clamps, and then I'm gonna create another one, almost identical, with these parts here. And there it is, ready to go. After the sub-assemblies have been in clamps about 30 minutes, it's time to complete the leg and apron sub-assembly. I like saying sub-assembly, can you tell? Put some glue into the mortises on the legs, Tap the tenons home, put some glue on the ends of the aprons and in their mortises. Push one end of each apron onto a tenon. Push the leg assembly onto the aprons. Clamp them together and let the glue cure. The glue is cured on the aprons and the legs and now it's time to mark out and cut out the top. Turn the assembly upside down and mark the corners of the piece on the plywood. Use a straightage of some sort to connect the marks to form a rectangle. With the plywood clamped in place, cut down the line with a handsaw, change over and cut the top free. We're very close to completing this project. We need to attach the top to the aprons and the legs and then apply a finish. Talking about finish, on this project I oiled the legs and the aprons, which I think looks great, and then I applied paint to the plywood top. I did this while those pieces were still separated, but you don't need to do it that way. So let's move on to assembling this piece. The last pieces we need to make are the glue blocks. I marked the end of the remaining cherry lumber to make four pieces. Then I rip cut down the lines and finally I cross cut the pieces. Now I'm gonna be using these glue blocks to attach the leg subassembly to the top. It couldn't be easier. First, I center the leg and aprons on the top. You can measure if you want, but doing it by eye will get you close enough. Next, put glue on two adjoining faces of a glue block and rub it in place until it tacks. Do it three more times and you are done. Allow the glue to cure. The glue block, sometimes called rub blocks, will secure the top. It's that easy. So that's it. You've built yourself a sturdy step stool. Of course, it would look better if you put a little finish on it, but that's up to you. You don't need to do that. I hope you enjoyed this Building Basics video and think about the things that you learned. How to cut square cuts and to cut parts to their finished lengths. How to create mortises for loose tenon joinery. How to glue and clamp up sub-assemblies. How to make use of glue blocks. And these techniques can be applied to a host of tables, chairs, or other furniture projects. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep on making sawdust.